Buffett and Mr. Munger, thank you for having us this weekend. My name is Bo Clayton, and I'm from Durham, North Carolina. One of the reasons that we are all here is that you're great storytellers, and we carry those stories back home with us. Can you please share a couple stories that maybe we haven't heard before <laughs> about Mr. Abel and Mr. Jane that capture their character and their caliber as leaders? Well. I'll start out with the G. <laughs> he walked into the office in 1986, and I'd gotten the bright idea of going into the reinsurance business, I think, in maybe 1969. So I'd stumbled along uh, for 17 years, and I had, I had a wonderful guy that, that ran it, uh, uh, but he also liked certain brokers. and I mean, it, he was running it the traditional way, the top, top quality and everything else. But, but, uh, but he fell into the, he, he didn't try and change the system. He, he tried to improve the system and, uh, to some degree. And we, just, we, went, we went nowhere. 17, 17 years wandering around in the wilderness, and I thought I was, you know, I knew we could have something good. And then Ajit came in on a Saturday and uh, uh, Mike Goldberg and steered him in, I think, and, and uh, Mike deserves to be enshrined in perpetuity for that act. And uh, I talked with him a while. I think maybe I was opening the mail on Saturday while I talked with him, and, and uh, he had absolutely zero experience with, with insurance, but he'd actually seen a good bit of how corporate America operated because he'd been in management consulting and after talking with him I, I knew I'd struck gold and, and uh, so I hired him and gave him the backing of some money uh, and we had a very good period in the market almost right away for him to act and, and the Jeep uh, you know if I had the top pick of 10 insurance managers in the world, I, I, had, I could take all 10 and they wouldn't, um, you can't replace a Jeep. And uh, we still enjoy talking. I don't, we don't talk as frequently as we used to, but we should talk about every day. Uh, but he is, he's one of a kind. And, and you know, if they're going to stick around long enough, you only need one of a kind. <laughs> Paul Andrews stuck around at TTI, had all the money in the world. Every time I talked to him about getting a raise or something of the sort, he said, we'll talk about that next year. It just, he was not what you get when you get the top draft picks from the leading business schools. And I will say this, I have never looked at where anybody went to school in terms of, of hiring. I mean, I, I, I just... Somebody mailed me a resume or something. I don't care where they went to school. Uh, uh, and it just so happens that, that uh, Ajit went to some pretty good schools. But he isn't Ajit because he went to the schools. 